Now this is a cool little animation from Seasons Interactive from McGraw-Hill and I wanted to show you what it actually looks like when a planet's axis tilt changes uh, when we move from Earth to Venus to Uranus. So here's the Earth going around the Sun and do you see that little X on the Earth? Whoop, it disappeared. It's coming back. Okay, that's where we, are, where we are located. So right now we're away from the Sun. So it's nighttime, now we're coming towards the Sun and it's daylight and now it's nighttime. Okay, and now it's daylight, there's the sun. So this little bottom box here shows us uh, what, our, what it would look like if we were located on the planet at that X. Okay, and this top box here shows us what it looks like uh, where we are in the orbit. Okay, now if we change things, for example, uh, this axis tilt is over at about 23.4 degrees and if we change that to be straight up and down like Venus or uh, Mercury or Jupiter okay, you'll notice that it changes how the Sun appears in the sky. Okay. You'll notice that it's a little bit higher than it would have been now we're back on the Earth and you'll notice where the Sun is for the Earth, but if I change it to Venus, it's up a little higher. Okay, So the axis tilt is going to affect the Sun's position in the sky, which makes sense. Okay, So what does the rotation of Uranus look like? Okay, Uranus is basically rolling over on its side. It's got an inclination angle of about 86 degrees. Okay, or um, 98 degrees the other direction. Okay, and so what does that look like? Let's speed this up so you can see. Okay, and you'll notice that there is for half the orbit it's nighttime, and for the other half it's daylight, and the sun never sets. Okay, and there's a little bit of day and night when we are at the vernal equinox or autumnal equinox when we're at spring and fall but when we're at the summer position or we're at the winter position like right now there is no sunlight <laughs> so this is what Uranus looks like as it goes around the Sun